Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. See the two governors whose presence in Edo State could mean defeat for Pastor Osagi Ize Iyamu. How can you flock or swim in the Crocodile River? My people, this is quite a statement. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time we're reaching you today, thank you very much for support. We really, truly appreciate you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. Yes, so uh, there are two governors basically now as we speak in a dual state who are campaigning for Pastor Sage Ize Iyamo. Don't forget that the elections is precisely five days from today. Yes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday saturday so if you exclude monday we have five days monday is already way gone you see so we have five days from today and the all awaited Edo state election will be a reality we'll be getting to know who the governor of Edo state will be who will be leading Edo state in the next four years in his new phase uh, of development and transparency uh, in a few days to come. However, Ize Yamu, a strong contender, contending the post and the political position with Governor Gordon Obaseki, uh, has the presence of some APC governors in Edo state who may seal his defeat because of their, their antecedent, what has happened before. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. See two governors whose presence in a dual state could mean defeat for Pastor Osari Ize Iyamo. With the September 19 governorship election in a dual state just a few days away, attentions of many Nigerian politicians have been shifted to straight to be adopted to ensure that their party and favorite candidate emerge victorious. With this, some have been visiting the state in recent time to solidate and to consolidate the support for their people and for their aspirants to vote in a particular for a particular candidate just recently it was reported that the emo state governor senator hopo zedema was in edo state to solicit for support for of the Igbo community in edo state to support pastor osage ize iyamo also, it is equally reported that the former governor of Kanu State, Senator Rabiu Kwasoko, was as well in Edo State to solicit for the Hausa community in favor of Governor Godwin Obaseki. The election, which has been generating serious political tension in the state, has recently become a battleground for the supremacy among some top Nigerian politicians, which and within and outside the state, why it is now obvious that Edo State has become a political battleground for some political gladiators in the country, it can also be argued that there are two governors whose presence in Edo State could mean and seal the defeat for the APC candidate, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamo. There are other two governors that, and, the, and these two governors are no other than the Imo State Governor, Senator Hopo Zedema, and Ganduji, the dollar man. These people have antecedents with Nigerians and they are not trustworthy people. For starters, Ganduji was seen in a bribery video where he was collecting bribe. Hose Ozedema is not a trusted politician with all that went on in Imo states. Some people are still of the opinion that Hope Ozedema was put in there by Buhari and Oshomole. This memory still lingers on, straight on, in the minds of Nigerians. However, for Governor Gordon Obaseki, Nusom Wike is already on ground, as well as Kokosom, former governor of Kanu State, is on ground to support Governor Gordon Obaseki. Although the Imo State Senator Hope Zedema is an APC governor who has been showing full support for Pastor Zage Ize Iyamu as a result of his close relationship with Adam Sushumole, but it is argued that his personal level of acceptance by the people within the people could be a factor that may work against Ize Iyamu, the candidate of the APC. 
the people the governor who can be argued to have been battling with acceptance by his own people who have been result who have been resulting to calling him names as supreme court governor or made in Abuja governor in a show of his dis displeasure over the manner of which he assumed office with this may not begin to wonder why the governor could convince the people to support pastor Sage Ize Iyamo. It could also be argued that some people could refer prefer to vote the candidate whom they know instead of the one who has history of record of wrong within the Nigerian community and this might not go well down with his personality. Ganduji on the other hand is not a good candidate to bring in to the political setting in any way. However, APC has chosen him to be the person to promote uh, their candidate. The People Democratic Party Campaign Council Chairman of the Edo State Governorship Election, Governor Nusom Wike, is greatly is a great politician who knows exactly how to go about his business and achieve his goal. The governor who is currently in his second term in office can be argued to have what it takes to match the pillars and the powers of Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu, such as Adam Sushumole, Governor Ganduje, the Kano State Governor. Wike, whose election as a PDP Nash, who was elected as the PDP National Campaign Council Chairman for the election is known to have fought some political battles in River State and emerged victorious. With his wealth of knowledge and experience, his presence in Edo State will prove Governor Gordon Obaseki has the much leverage which could be used to defeat Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu, hands down. The influence of those people behind the political candidates is one factor that could go a long way to convince the masses to support the particular party or candidate. But in the situation whereby the, the supporters is unpopular among the masses, this is not a very good stain or scenario. But if the supporters of the people who influence, who, who are the influence are felt by the masses, then they are likely to be bidded to have the presence of these people make a massive difference in the whole election process for the candidates. Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu, with the baggage of the people he has taken alongside with him, even Adam Sushumole is not grossly accepted across board in a do state because of his constant quest for revenge on Governor Gordon Obaseke, which has brought him more to two months than acceptance. The presence of those people he has surrounded himself with could lead to a massive defeat for Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu. Well, my people, there you go. There you have it. Uh, there are some people on ground who Ize Iyamu has associated himself with. They say, show me your association. I will tell you what is going on around you. Could mean, um, uh, you know, political doom for Ize Iyamu. Don't forget that Ize Iyamu was also uh, defeated in 2016. And this is the second time he's engaging the same candidate on the same ground again. However, the status quo are different at this time. What, what do you think? Leave us a comment. Bye for now.